In this video, we're going to talk about boundary boxes. So let's just say I created um, an image that's a face. So here's my image. Every image that's on your Tikinter canvas has a boundary around it. And it's not perfect, especially in a situation like this where we've got something that's circular. It has a boundary box. So notice that there's a little bit of extra space, but that's just how boundary boxes work. So it's not going to be perfect because if you try to get things to collide with each other, there might be a slight gap in the in the reaction time, but it's what we're going to work with. There's way to, ways to make it more precise, but we're not going to worry about that that much. Okay, so when we look at the boundary box, the way to Kinter does it and the way most programs do it is they look at the corners. So this corner here, and this corner here is what they use to develop the boundary box. They say, they we call this x1, and this is y1. So that's the first upper left corner, and this one is x2 and y2. Now if we were to look at every corner then, remember x is the left side, y is the top so we call this this one's x1 that's the left side x2 is the right side y1 is the top y2 is the bottom so if i were to put the points on this corner here this is an x2 value because it's the right side of the of the image and it's y1 because it's the top if i look at the bottom left corner this is the left side, so I'm going to use x1, and it's the bottom, so that's y2. That's going to come in handy later on. Now what we need to do in Tikinter is get those that information so we can figure out where is your smiley face at all times. So when we do that, there's a command. I'm going to we create a variable. It does not matter what your variable is called. I'm just going to call this the face boundary. You can call it whatever you want. But in order to find the boundary of the face, the command is playground.bbox, bbox is, bbox is boundary box, and then in parentheses we say, well, what image are we trying to find the boundary box for? We're trying to find the boundary box for the face. That's the command we use in Tikinter. Now, if you were to print face boundary, what happens when you create face boundary is you're creating a list. And in that list is going to be four numbers. So if you were to print this, you would get four numbers. It would be x1, y1, x2, y2. This part is important. Remember, we've talked about the, the um, index of a list. This is index 0, index 1, index 2, and index 3. So if I'm trying to figure out where is the left side of this face, I would say, um, I'm going to say it this way, I'm going to say face left equals face boundary. And then I would give the index number of the left side of the face. So let's go look. The left side of the face is x1. x1 is in index 0, so I'd do this. Face right is the face boundary, so we're going to go inside of this list and we're going to say, well, which index is the right side of the face? Remember that the right side is x2 and x2 is in the second index. And then face top and face bottom would have the similar effect. Face top That's y1 because that's the top. y1 is in index 1. And then finally, the face's bottom is y2 because that's the bottom of the image. So that would be 3. Okay, we're going to use this idea, this boundary box, to keep your images on the screen and not let them 